Today we will talk about cystometrogram. Cystometrogram basically shows the correlation of filling of the bladder with the increase in the bladder wall tone. Now we are going to talk about the normal cystometrogram in a person with normal urinary bladder and normal nervous system. Now normally when we plot the cystometrogram we have the volume of urine on the x-axis. We have the volume of urine on x-axis and we have the pressure in the bladder wall pressure in the bladder wall this is the bladder this is the urinary bladder so we have plotted this volume volume which is the amount of urine in the bladder on this x-axis and the the pressure the tension the tension in the wall of the bladder is basically plotted on the y-axis so here we have the volume in milliliters and we here we have the intravesicular pressure now in this graph we see that when the volume of urine the amount of urine in the urinary bladder is zero when the volume is zero the tension or the pressure the intravesicular pressure is also zero when urine starts collecting in the urinary bladder when urine starts collecting in the urinary bladder the volume of the urine in the bladder starts increasing on the x axis the pressure the pressure or the tone in the urinary wall bladder the tone in the urinary bladder or the wall of the urinary bladder this is basically the wall of the urinary bladder the tone also starts increasing now initially at the zero level both are zero then after accumulation of around 50 ml around 50 ml of urine at around 50 ml of urine in the urinary bladder the pressure reaches around 5 5 centimeter of water so basically the intravesicular pressure is in centimeter of water so with at the at the volume of around 50 ml the pressure is around 5 centimeter of water then even with the accumulation of around 100 to 200 ml of urine in the urinary bladder there is only slight increase even at the level of around 200 the pressure has only risen to 10 centimeter of water so basically the initial increase the tone is basically due to the the base the tone in the wall of the urinary bladder now any increase any increase so basically the tone is basically due to the muscles which are basically present in the wall of the urinary bladder and which are basically trying to contract so this is basically the basal tone this is basically the basal tone and this is basically the basal systematogram now we are also going to talk about the micturation waves which is another topic so the tone the basal systematogram the basal tone the basal tension the basal pressure in the wall of the urinary bladder it only rises to around 10 centimeter of water even at the volume of around 200 so at level of 50 ml it was just like 5 and then even with 200 or even 250 even at this level the pressure has only risen to like this level only 10 but any increase any increase between above this level even slight increase above this level will increase the pressure tremendously now it just at around 400 we see at around 400 at the urinary volume of around 400 ml the pressure has increased tremendously and it increases more and more now this is basically the basal the basal pressure the basal tone the tone in the wall of the urinary bladder on top of this basal pressure the basal tone the tone which is basically present in the wall of the urinary bladder suppose for example this is the urinary bladder so this wall is having some tone some pressure some tension which is being plotted here and it is basically increases with increase in the urine volume now on top of this pressure there are some contraction there are some contraction known as the micturation waves and these micturation waves have been plotted here so this is a micturation wave at this level of pressure suppose for example at around 190 normally the tone will be around 8 centimeter of water but when a micturation wave come these are micturation waves these are basically micturation waves so when a micturation wave come the pressure in the urinary bladder will increase due to which contraction of the urinary bladder will occur so contraction will occur and which that will be known as the micturation wave the micturation wave basically comes due to micturation reflex and we are going to discuss the micturation reflex in our coming lectures so normally the tone the basal tone this is the basal tone which is basically the tone present in the wall of the urinary bladder it keeps on increasing initially there is not much increase but after a certain amount of urine has been accumulated in the urinary bladder the basal tension keeps on increasing but at every level of urine volume at every basal pressure micturation waves keeps on occurring suppose for example this is a urinary bladder it contains 200 ml of urine now this is the basal tone this is the basal tone of this bladder 
It contains 200 ml of urine and its basal tone is around 10 cm of water. But on top of this basal tone, maturation wave will occur. And during the maturation wave, during the maturation wave, the tension, the pressure inside the urinary bladder may sometimes reach up to 20 cm of water. But this pressure wave, this maturation wave will last for a few seconds to a few minutes and then it will disappear. And the, the pressure in the urinary bladder will return back to this level. So we are talking about two different kinds of pressure. One is the basal pressure and one is the micturation waves which are basically due to contraction and micturation wave is basically due to micturation reflex. We will discuss micturation reflex in detail in our coming lectures. Now to understand this, we see that this bladder is the same bladder with the same quantity of urine. With 200 ml of urine, even in, the, with, in this bladder, having 10 cm of water pressure at the basal level, but when the micturation waves come, Pressure in the bladder may increase up to 20 cm of water, but the amount of urine remains the same until and unless the, the person urinates or micturates. Now, if the basal tone has reached, for example, 400 ml, now, sorry, the, the volume of urine has reached 400 ml at this level. And now suppose the, the, the tension, the basal tone of the urinary bladder is now 20. So, volume is now 400, for example. The volume has now reached 400 ml in the tone, the pressure in the, the wall of the urinary bladder has basically increased up to this point. At this point, if the wave occur, if a wave occur at this level, the tension, the pressure in the urinary bladder may increase up to 40 cm of water, up to this level or even higher than this level. So you see again in this same bladder containing the same amount of urine, 400 ml and 400 ml, but at this level, at basal tone, the pressure is around 20 cm of water. But when this wave occurs, the pressure increases to around 40 cm of water at this level. So basically, the systometrogram is the plotting of urine volume in the bladder with the intravesicular pressure. And it basically shows that it that at each and every level of urine volume in the bladder, there is a basal tone which initially remains stable, but after a certain point, there is tremendous increase or rapid increase in the basal tone, the basal pressure, the tension in the wall of the bladder. But on top of that basal tone, on top of that uh, pressure, micturation wave or an acute wave due to contraction of the urinary bladder do occur and that wave basically lasts for few seconds. These waves basically last for few seconds to few minutes and then disappear. And these waves may either result in urination, may or may not result in urination. So that's all about the normal systometrogram. In our next lecture, we will talk about the micturation reflex, which basically leads to the formation of the, these micturation waves. Thanks a lot for watching the video.